So next thing we'll talk about is kind of um, your, your time at UCR and your time as a CS student. Mm -hmm. um, so in the CS program and you've gone through it, um, how, how, how have you liked your experience so far? Absolutely. Yeah, I think that um, it's it's very it's very cool. I think that uh, coming from high school, you're taking your general courses, but they're not exactly what you want to be, uh, what you want to tailor to as um, you kind of enter the workforce. So I think that one thing I liked about um, UCR and I think many, many other uh, college CS programs is as well is that you take your beginning intro courses, uh, are just uh, learning C++. Mm -hmm. Then we uh, go through some uh, core classes, learning theory, and then we get to eventually take on technical electives as well. We yep. uh, can take electives on maybe databases, cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, and that way it's it is theory focused, and there um, and maybe we do one or two assignments, but it is a great way to kind of understand the fundamentals mm -hmm. of what uh, what these concepts are and professors even dive into some real life examples so for example i um took artificial intelligence uh spring quarter and um i would uh, i would really enjoy attending lecture because we talk about fake news mm -hmm. and how how that implies uh applies with artificial intelligence and i think that's a super interesting topic that you probably wouldn't hear on yeah. a daily conversation so yeah that's what so i've thoroughly kind of and thoroughly enjoyed the uh cs program and i'm excited to graduate in june Awesome. Yeah. I mean, the one thing that we we're talking about in the last episode when I was uh, talking with Nikhil, we we're talking about how the, the business school should get more technical. So right. uh, on your standpoint, do you think that the, the CS program has prepared you uh, for the, biz, like, the actual business professional world, especially mm -hmm. working for PayPal? Now you have an experience there. So how do you feel the CS program prepared you for that? Right. Yeah. So I think that that's an area where... Um, Maybe there needs to be some growth because I think the challenge that research universities have is that they are very theory focused, mm -hmm. which is great. I mean, again, you learn, learn the fundamental concepts, but um, I think we talked about some of the car right here is a kind of being able to um, adapt to what's what, what's the now, what's yep. what's uh, happening in the industry. Um, you know, what are the skills that are required? And, the, and theory is good if you want to go the research route, but if you want to go the industry route, want to go enter businesses, um, having the understanding of you know what are terms like what's a value proposition, mm -hmm. what's um, you know identifying what's a, what's the key problem, um, talking to customers. Those those are areas where I feel like. Um, I didn't get too much opportunity to learn uh, in my CS degree. I took one class in entrepreneurship, which is, uh, uh, it was called Entrepreneurship and Commu Computing, which was actually addressing the problem that um, that I talked about, which is not having uh, the ability to get industry skills. Yep. Um, and I think that was probably the, be the best uh, experience I could have gotten for preparing me for maybe, uh, for example, with PayPal as well. But I think that, as you talked about with business students uh, wanting to learn more technology, mm -hmm. it's the flip side as well. Mm -hmm. I've talked to so many engineers, and we, uh, for engineers, the um, kind of a bread and butter of uh, sending out Oh, is st uh, going to technical competitions called hackathons, yep. which um, I'm, I'm not sure if uh, the viewers are familiar with this, but it's essentially 24 or 36 hour competition where you um, essentially build something mm -hmm. um, that's uh, that's technology related. So um, towards the end of that, you essentially pitch what you're what you're making and they just get so bogged into kind of here's what I developed, here's this. but. You, you can't even understand what's the first question, which is what's the problem. Exactly. So, I mean, this so so again tying back to, I think that's an, and that's an area where I think that there could be more collaboration. Yep. And I think that's what you're working on as well with mm -hmm. the um, BCOE and Soba uh, Soba schools to try to develop more collaboration to uh, kind, uh, kind of have students work hand in hand to maybe even develop uh, businesses as well. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like the one thing that I've been I mean trying to do at UC Riverside for the last five years is provide more innovation opportunities for students. Right. So I mean, one thing we were talking about is. Um, um, for example, those that are on the pathway that wanted to make a business of their own entrepreneurship, um, you, you stated a lot of CS students want to do this. Like yeah. there, there's a lot of excitement there. Oh, yeah. uh, but the issue, there's there's not uh, that many direct pathways. Like we have opportunities at UCR, we have the i -Corps program, we have mm -hmm. Excite in downtown Riverside, mm -hmm. uh, we have mentors. There's a lot of there's a lot of opportunities, but I don't think those are that well known yet. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, I, I, I do believe that in order for innovation and kind of providing that value for both sides um, is more collaboration. Mm -hmm. So more collaboration in business school and the CS school. Right. Having maybe even like your guys' um, design project. Do you guys do them in your third year? Like uh, the, the design project? Yeah, not the design project, but you guys have like a... Oh, like a, like a senior design. Yeah. yeah. So we do that at... Um, 
Uh, you can do it your junior year, but typically people do it in their senior year. Yeah. So yeah. for example, even having more business students involved in that process, mm -hmm. allowing you guys to learn more of the Lean Star methodology, mm -hmm. allowing it to curate according to your guys' needs. So you guys learn at the end of the day, the value of the business side, right. uh, but the business students learn about the technical side. Because right. as, as I brought up many, many times before is um, business students generally don't understand technological things to the high level as mm -hmm. they should. Mm -hmm. uh, but nowadays, every business, every product, everything has something to do with technology. Oh yeah. yeah. And um, CS students, on the other hand, they might not understand the the value proposition or what's the problem and how to provide an exact solution to a market need. Mm -hmm. But then business students don't understand what can be actually done with technology. So mm -hmm. more collaboration, I really do think would shift the dynamic at UCR between the different departments. So what do you think about that? Yeah, I, I agree, I agree. I think, uh Quick plug. Um, I actually, uh, a couple of videos ago, I talked about how um, every business essentially is a technology mm -hmm. business. Um, you kind of your home is connected, your shoes are even connected, um, and there isn't a business that isn't that doesn't have technology in its in its core. So I think that. Um, what, what you're what you're talking about is a great way to even to start in the foundational and the mm -hmm. roots, which is college students, because where the it's inevitable the youth are going to be the one that's going to take over the workforce and change it. So how do we start it in the right way? And it starts with collaboration. Mm -hmm. I think that um, I, I I took a uh, I took a business course, uh, business one of three at UCR, okay. and um, over there it was expected to, it, it was a, it was a marketing report, but. Um, it would have been helpful to understand. Uh, so I did a report on the uh, on Amazon Echo Dot, yep. and it would have been helpful to understand, you know, kind of like the technology behind it. What what's uh, the point of a kind of having a voice AI? Mm -hmm. um, and on the flip side, I'm doing I'm taking my senior design right now in uh, databases, and um, we're asked to do a proposal, and we're asked to do, come up with a design document, and come up with a couple presentations as we go along, and it's. Fe uh, feasible to do, but I think that um, this is where I, I looked at a few other proposals, and engineers really struggle with the uh, with the fact that how do you again identify uh, what exactly is the market needing? Mm -hmm. Why is this uh, why is this product so relevant? Um, uh, compare, uh, uh, why is the product so relevant? What's the problem? So I think that if uh, having those collaborations hand in hand where maybe if, you know, like a, um, a SOBA student could w say, hey, I'll come up with the proposal. Uh, uh, I'll meet with engineers to come up with, okay, we can flesh out the requirements mm -hmm. together, um, then understand the business value. So when you come up with a pitch, you can then... Um, Engineers can focus on what they like, which is talking about the technical side, and business students can focus on what they like, which is talking about the business and value prop. But both sides know exactly what what each side each side are talking about, rather than it being a completely separate thing. So I think that yeah. Go ahead.